Chapter 1, Understanding the Climate Crisis The climate crisis is a pressing issue that demands our immediate attention. The drastic changes in Earth's climate patterns caused by human activities have led to a dangerous phenomenon known as global warming. It is crucial to understand the implications of this crisis and take action to mitigate its effects. The climate crisis has brought about significant changes in our environment. The Earth's climate patterns, which were once stable, have become increasingly erratic. We are witnessing rising temperatures, melting ice caps, and more frequent and severe natural disasters. These changes are a clear indication that our planet is in danger. Human activities are primarily responsible for these changes. The continuous release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide and methane, is the main driver of global warming. Activities such as burning fossil fuels for energy, deforestation, and industrial processes all contribute to the accumulation of these gases. Global warming is the result of the greenhouse effect, where these gases trap heat within the Earth's atmosphere. As a result, temperatures rise, leading to a host of negative consequences. The melting of polar ice caps and glaciers contributes to rising sea levels, posing a threat to coastal areas and island nations. The increased frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, such as hurricanes and heat waves, have devastating impacts on communities and ecosystems. It is important to acknowledge the role of human activities in exacerbating the climate crisis. Our choices and actions directly contribute to the changes we are witnessing. However, this also means that we have the power to reverse these effects and create a more sustainable future. Addressing the climate crisis requires a collective effort and a commitment to sustainable practices. We must reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and transition to renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power. Energy efficiency measures can also play a significant role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. By making conscious choices in our daily lives, such as using public transportation or choosing electric vehicles, we can contribute to the solution. Additionally, protecting and restoring natural habitats, as well as promoting sustainable agricultural practices, can help mitigate the impacts of the climate crisis. By preserving biodiversity and implementing climate resilient strategies, we can ensure the long-term survival of ecosystems and the species that inhabit them. The climate crisis is a complex issue that requires global cooperation and commitment. International agreements, such as the Paris Agreement, aim to unite countries in their efforts to combat climate change. These agreements set emissions targets and provide support for developing nations in adapting to the changing climate. In conclusion, the climate crisis is a result of changes in Earth's climate patterns caused by human activities, leading to global warming. We must acknowledge the severity of the situation and take immediate action to mitigate its effects. By transitioning to renewable energy sources, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and adopting sustainable practices, we can work towards creating a more resilient and sustainable future for our planet. The time to act is now, and every individual plays a critical role in addressing this crisis. Together, we can make a difference and protect the Earth for future generations. Question, what is the climate crisis? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Causes of Climate Change The causes of climate change are multifaceted and complex. One of the main culprits behind this phenomenon is the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere. These gases, such as carbon dioxide CO2 and methane CH4, trap heat and contribute to the warming of our planet. One significant source of greenhouse gases is the burning of fossil fuels. The combustion of coal, oil, and natural gas releases large quantities of CO2 into the atmosphere. 
This occurs primarily through transportation, industrial processes, and energy production. Fossil fuel combustion is a major contributor to climate change, with the transportation sector being a significant source of emissions. Another key factor is deforestation. Forests act as carbon sinks, absorbing sea aqua and storing it in trees and vegetation. However, widespread deforestation, particularly in tropical regions, leads to the release of stored carbon into the atmosphere. Additionally, the loss of forests reduces their capacity to absorb sea aqua, exacerbating the greenhouse effect. Human activities, such as agriculture and land use changes, also play a role in climate change. The expansion of agricultural practices, especially livestock farming, produces substantial amounts of CH4, a potent greenhouse gas. Additionally, land use changes, such as converting forests into agricultural land or urban areas, release large amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. It is essential to recognize the impact of these causes on the climate crisis. The continued reliance on fossil fuels and the destruction of vital ecosystems through deforestation worsen the situation. However, there are steps we can take to address these issues and mitigate climate change. Transitioning to renewable energy sources is one effective solution. By investing in solar, wind, and hydroelectric power, we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and significantly decrease greenhouse gas emissions. Governments and individuals alike should support and prioritize the development and implementation of renewable energy technologies. Efforts to combat deforestation are also crucial. Governments and organizations can promote reforestation projects and sustainable land management practices. Protecting existing forests and implementing measures to prevent illegal logging are vital for preserving these carbon sinks and protecting biodiversity. Furthermore, adopting sustainable agricultural practices can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Introducing methods such as organic farming, agroforestry, and precision irrigation can minimize the release of CH4 and C atwo from agriculture while ensuring food security and preserving soil health. In conclusion, the causes of climate change are rooted in human activities, primarily the emission of greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and unsustainable agricultural practices. We must recognize the role we play in exacerbating this crisis and take immediate action to mitigate its effects. Transitioning to renewable energy sources combating deforestation, and implementing sustainable land and agricultural management practices are tangible steps we can take to address climate change. By working together globally, we can create a sustainable and resilient future for our planet. Question, what are the main causes of climate change? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, The Impact on Ecosystems, Chapter 3, The Impact on Ecosystems Climate change has had a considerable impact on ecosystems worldwide, leading to significant disruptions in biodiversity, habitats, and the very survival of numerous species. The interconnectedness of these various components of ecosystems has been greatly affected, resulting in a chain reaction of consequences. As temperatures rise due to climate change, Many habitats have undergone dramatic transformations. Snow-capped mountains are melting, coral reefs are bleaching, and once lush forests are becoming arid deserts. These changes pose a severe threat to the plants and animals that call these places home. The loss of suitable habitats often leads to the displacement and extinction of species that struggle to adapt to the new conditions. Biodiversity a cornerstone of healthy ecosystems, is being negatively impacted by climate change. The delicate balance between different species and their interactions is disrupted as some are unable to thrive in the altering environmental conditions. 
As a result, entire ecosystems are at risk of collapsing as key species disappear, leading to a domino effect with far-reaching consequences. In the oceans, warming temperatures have caused the melting of polar ice caps, affecting not only iconic species such as polar bears and penguins but also countless others that rely on these frozen habitats. As ice shelves break apart, species that depend on them for feeding and breeding are left struggling to survive. Additionally, the acidification of seawater caused by increased sea otwell levels poses a significant threat to the health of coral reefs and the myriad of species that rely on these vibrant ecosystems. Land-based ecosystems are also suffering the consequences of climate change. Many forests are experiencing devastating wildfires due to prolonged droughts and increased temperatures. These fires not only destroy vast areas of vegetation, but also displace and endanger the countless species that depend on these forests for shelter and food. As trees disappear, the carbon dioxide absorption capacity of forests diminishes, further contributing to global warming. Furthermore, climate change is altering the timing and availability of resources, such as food and water, on which many species depend. Migration patterns are disrupted, and crucial food sources can become scarce, leading to malnutrition and population declines. These changes impact not only wildlife, but also humans who rely on these ecosystems for their livelihoods. To mitigate the severe consequences of climate change on ecosystems, urgent action is required. Conservation efforts must be implemented to protect habitats and preserve biodiversity. This includes the establishment of protected areas, restoration of degraded ecosystems, and the development of sustainable land and water management practices. Additionally, reducing greenhouse gas emissions is crucial to prevent further damage to ecosystems. Transitioning to renewable energy sources and promoting energy efficiency will help reduce the warming of the planet and give ecosystems a chance to recover. Governments, organizations, and individuals must work together to address the causes of climate change and implement sustainable solutions that benefit both human communities and the natural world. If we fail to take immediate action, the impact of climate change on ecosystems will only continue to worsen. The loss of biodiversity, the destruction of habitats, and the extinction of species are not only tragic in their own right, but also threaten the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. It is our responsibility to act as stewards of the Earth and protect these invaluable resources for future generations. Question, how does climate change affect ecosystems? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Climate Change and Weather Climate change and weather have a close relationship with climate change significantly influencing the occurrence and intensity of extreme weather events. Hurricanes, droughts, heat waves, and other weather phenomena have been more frequent and severe in recent years, leaving a trail of destruction and human suffering in their wake. As our climate continues to warm due to greenhouse gas emissions, the atmosphere becomes more energized, leading to an increase in extreme weather events. Hurricanes, for example, thrive on warm ocean waters, and as sea surface temperatures rise, they have more fuel to strengthen and intensify. The destructive power of hurricanes has amplified, causing widespread devastation to coastal communities. Droughts have also become more frequent and prolonged, with climate change altering precipitation patterns. As temperatures rise, evaporation rates increase, and soils dry out more quickly. This results in longer periods of limited water availability, impacting agriculture, water supplies, and ecosystems. Farmers struggle to grow crops, animals suffer from lack of water and food, and communities face water shortages. Heat waves, another consequence of climate change, have become more frequent and intense. As average temperatures rise, extreme heat events become more common, 
posing a significant threat to human health, vulnerable populations, such as the elderly and young children, are particularly at risk of heat-related illnesses and death. Heat waves also exacerbate drought conditions and increase the likelihood of wildfires, further compounding the impacts of climate change. The influence of climate change on extreme weather events is not limited to hurricanes, droughts, and heat waves. Flooding events are also on the rise as warmer air holds more moisture, leading to heavier rainfall. Coastal areas are at risk of inundation as sea levels rise, exacerbating the impacts of storm surges. These flooding events cause widespread damage to infrastructure, displacement of communities, and destruction of ecosystems. The consequences of these extreme weather events are far-reaching. Lives are lost, homes are destroyed, and livelihoods are disrupted. The economic toll is staggering, as communities and governments must invest in recovery efforts and build resilience against future events. The social fabric of communities is strained as they grapple with the aftermath of these disasters. These extreme weather events also highlight the urgent need for action on climate change. Mitigating greenhouse gas emissions is crucial to limit the warming of our planet and minimize the occurrence of extreme weather events. Transitioning to clean and renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and adopting sustainable practices are all essential steps in mitigating climate change and its impacts. Adaptation is also key in addressing the challenges posed by extreme weather events. Building resilient infrastructure, implementing early warning systems, and developing strategies to protect vulnerable populations are essential in minimizing the impacts of these events. Communities must come together to support each other, share information, and learn from past experiences to better prepare for the future. In conclusion, climate change and weather have a profound and interconnected relationship. Climate change influences the occurrence and intensity of extreme weather events such as hurricanes, droughts, heat waves, and flooding. These events have devastating consequences for communities and ecosystems, causing loss of life, destruction of property, and economic and social disruptions. Urgent action is needed to mitigate climate change and adapt to the challenges posed by extreme weather events. By working together, we can build a more resilient and sustainable future for all. Question, what is the relationship between climate change and weather? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, The Role of Human Activities Chapter 5, The Role of Human Activities Human activities play a crucial role in contributing to climate change. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes all emit greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, leading to the greenhouse effect and ultimately global warming. The burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and natural gas, for energy production is one of the main culprits in the rise of greenhouse gas emissions. This process releases large amounts of carbon dioxide CO2 into the atmosphere, trapping heat and causing the Earth's temperature to rise. The consequences of this increase in temperature are far-reaching and impact our climate system. Deforestation, another human activity, also contributes to climate change. Trees act as carbon sinks, absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis. However, widespread deforestation clears these important carbon sinks, releasing the stored carbon back into the atmosphere. The loss of forests not only leads to increased sea aqua levels, but also disrupts ecosystems and reduces biodiversity. Industrial processes, such as cement production and chemical manufacturing, release not only sea aqua but also other potent greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide. These gases have a much higher warming potential than sea aqua amplifying the greenhouse effect and accelerating global warming. The accumulation of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere leads to the greenhouse effect, 
where the gases trap heat from the sun and prevent it from escaping back into space. As a result, the Earth's temperature rises, causing changes in weather patterns, sea levels, and ecosystems. The consequences of climate change caused by human activities are already becoming evident. Rising temperatures have led to more frequent and intense heat waves, droughts, and wildfires. Coastal areas are experiencing increased flooding due to rising sea levels and more powerful storm surges. Changes in weather patterns are impacting agriculture, posing risks to food security and livelihoods. Addressing the role of human activities in climate change requires a multifaceted approach. Transitioning to clean and renewable energy sources is crucial in reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the burning of fossil fuels. Investing in energy efficiency and promoting sustainable practices can further decrease our carbon footprint. By adopting sustainable transportation options, such as electric vehicles and public transit, we can reduce emissions from the transportation sector. Efforts to mitigate deforestation and restore forests are also essential. Protecting and preserving our remaining forests will not only help absorb sea otwo from the atmosphere, but also safeguard biodiversity and provide numerous ecosystem services. In addition to mitigation, adaptation strategies are necessary to address the impacts of climate change that are already occurring. Developing resilient infrastructure, implementing early warning systems, and educating communities on climate risks can help reduce vulnerability to extreme weather events. The role of human activities in climate change cannot be overstated. Our choices and actions have direct consequences for the health of our planet and future generations. By recognizing our role in climate change and taking steps to reduce our impact, we can work towards a more sustainable and resilient future for all. Question, how do human activities contribute to climate change? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Impacts on Human Health Impacts on human health climate change has far-reaching consequences for human health with various impacts on individuals and communities. The rising temperatures associated with global warming pose a significant risk of heat-related illnesses. With frequent and intense heat waves becoming more common, vulnerable populations, such as the elderly and young children, are at a higher risk of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. These heat-related illnesses can lead to dehydration, organ damage, and even death. Furthermore, Climate change exacerbates respiratory problems due to increased air pollution. As global temperatures rise, the formation of ground-level ozone, a harmful air pollutant, also increases. Ground-level ozone can trigger asthma attacks, worsen respiratory conditions, and lead to difficulty breathing. Additionally, increased levels of particulate matter, such as dust and soot, in the air can cause respiratory inflammation and contribute to respiratory diseases like bronchitis and pneumonia. Infectious diseases are also influenced by climate change. As temperatures warm, disease-carrying vectors like mosquitoes and ticks can expand their range, leading to the spread of diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, and Lyme disease. Warmer temperatures also create more favorable conditions for bacteria, and viruses to survive and thrive. Air pollution, another consequence of climate change, can have serious health impacts. The burning of fossil fuels for energy production releases pollutants such as sulfur dioxide s nitrogen oxides NOx, and particulate matter into the air. Exposure to these pollutants can cause respiratory irritation, lung damage, and increased susceptibility to respiratory infections. Long-term exposure to air pollution has also been linked to cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks and strokes. The most vulnerable populations, including children, the elderly, and those with pre-existing health conditions, are disproportionately affected by the health impacts of climate change. 
Low-income communities and regions with limited access to health care and resources are also particularly at risk. To mitigate these health impacts, a multi-pronged approach is needed. Public health infrastructure must be strengthened to ensure early detection and response to heat waves and other extreme weather events. Education and outreach campaigns can raise awareness about the dangers of heat-related illnesses and provide guidance on prevention measures, such as staying hydrated and seeking cool spaces during hot weather. Improving air quality is another crucial step in protecting human health. Transitioning to clean energy sources can help reduce air pollution and decrease respiratory problems. Implementing stricter regulations on emissions from industries and vehicles can also contribute to cleaner air. Efforts to combat infectious diseases must be intensified. This includes implementing effective mosquito control measures, enhancing disease surveillance systems, and improving access to vaccines and treatments. Research and development of new tools and technologies for disease prevention and control are also essential. Addressing the health impacts of climate change is essential for the well-being of individuals and communities worldwide. By taking proactive measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, improve air quality, and strengthen public health systems, we can mitigate the health risks associated with climate change. Through collective action and collaboration, we can create a healthier future for all. Question, what are the health impacts of climate change on humans? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Mitigating Climate Change In the battle against climate change, Chapter 7 focuses on the crucial task of mitigating its effects through sustainable practices and forward-thinking solutions. One of the key strategies to combat climate change is transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources. Renewable energy sources, such as wind, solar, and hydroelectric power, offer a cleaner and more sustainable alternative to traditional forms of energy. By harnessing the power of nature, these renewable energy sources generate electricity without the harmful greenhouse gas emissions associated with fossil fuels. This transition not only helps to reduce our carbon footprint, but also promotes energy independence and drives economic growth. Another essential aspect of mitigating climate change is improving energy efficiency. By implementing energy-saving technologies and practices, we can reduce energy consumption and limit the need for additional energy production. This approach not only helps to lower greenhouse gas emissions, but also saves money and resources. Energy efficient buildings, appliances, and transportation systems play a crucial role in achieving a sustainable future. To effectively reduce greenhouse gas emissions, a comprehensive approach is necessary. This includes implementing policies and regulations that incentivize the adoption of clean technologies and practices. Governments and businesses must collaborate to develop and enforce emission reduction targets, promote sustainable practices, and invest in renewable energy infrastructure. The transportation sector, a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, also plays a vital role in mitigating climate change. By encouraging the use of electric vehicles, expanding public transportation networks, and promoting active modes of transportation such as walking and cycling, we can reduce reliance on fossil fuels and decrease carbon emissions. Moreover, supporting the research and development of alternative fuels, such as biofuels and hydrogen, can further contribute to a greener transportation system. Mitigating climate change requires a global effort, with individuals, communities, and governments working together to achieve sustainable solutions. Education and awareness campaigns are crucial in empowering individuals to make environmentally conscious choices in their daily lives. Small changes in habits, such as reducing waste, conserving water, and adopting eco-friendly practices, 
can make a significant impact when multiplied across communities and nations. Furthermore, international cooperation is key in addressing the global nature of climate change. Collaborative efforts among countries are essential to reduce emissions on a global scale, share technological advancements, and support developing nations in their transition towards renewable energy sources. By working together, we can achieve a more sustainable future for generations to come. In conclusion, mitigating climate change requires a multifaceted approach encompassing renewable energy transition, energy efficiency, and reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. Embracing clean technologies, promoting sustainable practices, and fostering international cooperation are crucial steps towards safeguarding the planet. With concerted efforts, we can create a more sustainable and resilient world for ourselves and future generations. The time to act is now. Question, how can we mitigate climate change? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Adaptation to a Changing Climate. Adaptation to a changing climate as the impacts of climate change become more apparent communities around the world are adjusting to the challenges posed by a changing climate. In Chapter 8, we explore the importance of adaptation and the development of strategies to cope with the effects of these changes. One of the key areas of adaptation is the built environment. With sea levels rising and extreme weather events becoming more frequent, building flood defenses has become a necessity. Coastal communities are implementing innovative solutions to protect their homes and infrastructure from the encroaching waters. Strong seawalls, elevated buildings, and natural barriers such as mangroves are being utilized to mitigate the risk of flooding and storm surges. These adaptations not only safeguard communities but also preserve the natural environment. Agriculture is another sector greatly impacted by a changing climate, with irregular rainfall patterns and prolonged droughts posing significant challenges. To combat these challenges, farmers are implementing drought-resistant crops and innovative irrigation techniques. By diversifying their crops and embracing resilient farming practices, farmers can adapt to the changing conditions and ensure food security for their communities. Additionally, investing in research and development to create new crop varieties that can thrive in varying climates is crucial for long-term adaptation. In urban areas, cities are implementing measures to mitigate the urban heat island effect, which exacerbates the impacts of rising temperatures. Green roofs, urban green spaces, and reflective surfaces are being utilized to combat the heat and provide cooler environments for residents. Through these adaptations, Cities can reduce energy consumption for cooling and improve the overall well-being of their citizens. The natural world is also undergoing significant changes, affecting fragile ecosystems and biodiversity. Conservation efforts are being ramped up to protect vulnerable species and preserve habitats that provide essential services such as carbon sequestration and flood regulation. Resilience plans are being developed to ensure ecosystems can adapt and thrive in the face of a changing climate. Communities in developing countries are particularly susceptible to the impacts of climate change as their livelihoods rely heavily on natural resources. It is imperative to support these communities in developing adaptation strategies that enhance their resilience and enable them to thrive. This includes providing access to climate information, enhancing skills and knowledge, and assisting in the implementation of sustainable practices. Education and awareness play key roles in facilitating adaptation to a changing climate. By raising awareness about the impacts of climate change and providing tools and resources for individuals and communities, we can empower them to take action and make informed decisions. It is through collective efforts that we can create a more resilient and adaptive society. In conclusion, Chapter 8 emphasizes the importance of adaptation in the face of a changing climate. By adjusting to the impacts and developing strategies to cope, we can protect communities, 
preserve ecosystems, and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Building flood defenses, implementing drought-resistant crops, and embracing resilient practices are just a few examples of the innovative solutions being implemented worldwide. Through collaboration, education, and proactive measures, we can successfully adapt to the challenges of a changing climate. Question, what is climate adaptation? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, The Role of International Agreements International agreements play a crucial role in addressing climate change and fostering global cooperation. In Chapter 9, we delve into the significance of these agreements in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and supporting developing nations in their efforts to combat climate change. One of the most significant international agreements is the Paris Agreement, which was adopted in 2015 and ratified by nearly all countries. Its primary objective is to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This ambitious target cannot be achieved without the collective effort of nations around the world. The Paris Agreement sets out a framework for countries to regularly communicate their efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and provides a platform for countries to collaborate and share best practices. It recognizes the different responsibilities and capabilities of developed and developing nations, aiming to provide financial and technological support to the latter. This support is crucial for these countries to both mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. To ensure effective global action, the agreement establishes a system for monitoring and reporting emissions, as well as reviewing progress towards the emissions targets. Compliance with these targets is not legally binding, but the agreement creates a sense of accountability and encourages countries to strive towards their commitments. Developing nations, in particular, face numerous challenges in addressing climate change. They often lack the financial resources and technological capabilities to implement sustainable solutions. International agreements recognize the need to support these nations in their transition towards low-carbon economies. Financial mechanisms, such as the Green Climate Fund, have been established to provide financial assistance to developing countries for adaptation and mitigation projects. These funds help develop renewable energy infrastructure, enhance climate resilience, and promote sustainable practices. Cooperation between nations is essential in achieving the goals set by international agreements. Sharing knowledge, experience, and technology enables countries to overcome common challenges and accelerate progress. Partnerships between developed and developing nations foster collaboration in areas such as renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, and climate data management. These collaborations contribute to building capacity and accelerating the transition to a low-carbon future. Furthermore, international agreements play a crucial role in raising global awareness about the urgency of addressing climate change. By creating a platform for countries to collectively recognize the threat posed by greenhouse gas emissions, these agreements galvanize public support and spur action. They mobilize governments, civil society organizations, and individuals to take responsibility for their emissions and adopt sustainable practices. While international agreements provide a foundation for global cooperation, their success ultimately depends on the commitment and actions of individual countries. Governments must translate their commitments into tangible policies, regulations, and investments that drive the transition to low-carbon economies. They need to adopt ambitious emissions reduction targets, implement robust monitoring systems, and foster an enabling environment for renewable energy and sustainable development. In conclusion, Chapter 9 highlights the pivotal role of international agreements in addressing climate change.
These agreements foster cooperation, set emissions targets, and provide support to developing nations. By promoting collaboration and shared responsibility, they enable countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, promote sustainable practices, and build a resilient future for all. However, these agreements are only a starting point, and it is the collective actions of governments, organizations, and individuals that will determine their effectiveness in combating climate change. Question. How do international agreements address climate change? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, Climate Change and Agriculture Chapter 10, Climate Change and Agriculture Climate change has had a profound impact on agriculture, altering crop yields and increasing water scarcity in many parts of the world. In this chapter, we explore how the changing climate is affecting the global food system, and the measures being taken to address these challenges. One of the key impacts of climate change on agriculture is the alteration of crop yields. Rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns have led to shifts in growing seasons and disrupted traditional farming practices. Farmers are facing unpredictable weather events such as droughts, floods, and extreme heat, which can result in crop failures and reduced productivity. Furthermore, climate change has also led to the spread of pests and diseases, posing additional challenges for farmers. As temperatures rise, pests that were once limited to certain regions are now expanding their range. Insects such as aphids and beetles, as well as plant diseases like blight and rust, are becoming more prevalent, causing significant losses in crop production. The increased frequency and intensity of droughts and heat waves have also exacerbated water scarcity in agricultural regions. As water becomes scarcer, farmers face difficulties in irrigation, leading to decreased crop yields and reduced food production. In some areas, water sources have become contaminated or depleted, further adding to the challenges faced by farmers. To mitigate the impact of climate change on agriculture, various strategies are being implemented. One approach is the development and promotion of climate-resilient crops that can withstand the changing climate conditions, such as drought-tolerant or heat-resistant varieties. These crops have the potential to enhance food security and improve farmers' resilience to climate shocks. Additionally, Efforts are being made to improve water management in agriculture. This includes investing in sustainable irrigation systems, promoting water, saving techniques such as drip irrigation, and implementing effective water governance policies. By adopting efficient water use practices, farmers can optimize their water resources and reduce the impact of water scarcity. Furthermore, the adoption of climate-smart farming practices is gaining momentum. These practices involve utilizing climate data and technology to inform decision-making, implementing agroforestry or conservation agriculture to improve soil health and biodiversity, and diversifying crops to enhance resilience. These approaches not only help mitigate climate change, but also offer additional benefits such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions and enhancing ecosystem services. International collaboration plays a crucial role in addressing the challenges faced by agriculture due to climate change. Sharing knowledge, best practices, and technological advancements among countries allows for a more coordinated response. Furthermore, Financial support and capacity-building initiatives are necessary to help smallholder farmers, who are often the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, adapt to new farming practices. In conclusion, Chapter 10 emphasizes the significant impact of climate change on agriculture and the measures being taken to address these challenges. The altering crop yields, increasing water scarcity, and spread of pests and diseases are putting global food security at risk. However, through the development and promotion of climate-resilient crops, improved water management, and the adoption of climate-smart farming practices, 
we can enhance the resilience of the agricultural sector. International cooperation and support for farmers, particularly in developing regions, are crucial for building a sustainable and climate resilient food system. By acting now, we can safeguard our agricultural systems and ensure a secure and abundant food supply for future generations. Question, how does climate change impact agriculture? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, The Future of Our Planet Chapter 11, The Future of Our Planet in Looking Towards the Future It is evident that our planet faces numerous challenges, many of which stem from climate change. Urgent measures are required if we are to protect the environment and mitigate the worst effects of this global crisis. Now more than ever, collective actions are crucial in shaping a sustainable future for generations to come. The first and most pressing issue is the need to reduce emissions. It is widely recognized that greenhouse gas emissions, primarily from burning fossil fuels for energy and transportation, are the main drivers of climate change. To combat this, countries around the world must take immediate and significant steps to transition to renewable energy sources. Investing in wind, solar, and hydropower, as well as improving energy efficiency, will not only reduce emissions but also create new job opportunities and stimulate economic growth. Individual actions also play a vital role in reducing emissions. By adopting eco-friendly practices such as using public transportation, conserving energy, and embracing sustainable lifestyles, we can all contribute to minimizing our carbon footprint. Educating communities about climate change and its impacts is essential to inspire collective action and lasting change. Furthermore, protecting the environment requires preserving our ecosystems and biodiversity. Forests, oceans, and other natural habitats act as crucial carbon sinks, absorbing vast amounts of carbon dioxide. Conserving these ecosystems, as well as restoring degraded lands, can significantly contribute to mitigating climate change. Encouraging sustainable land management practices, such as agroforestry and sustainable agriculture, can also simultaneously enhance food security and ecosystem health. In addition, transitioning towards a circular economy is essential for a sustainable future. By reducing waste, recycling materials, and minimizing resource consumption, we can decrease our ecological footprint. Embracing innovative technologies and design principles that prioritize sustainability will promote a more efficient use of resources and reduce environmental impacts. The future of our planet also calls for robust international cooperation and collaboration. Climate change is a global issue that transcends national boundaries and its impacts are felt by all. By working together, countries can share knowledge, resources, and best practices to find effective solutions. Financial support and technology transfers to developing nations are crucial for them to adapt to the changing climate and build their resilience. Education and awareness are fundamental in shaping a sustainable future. Empowering individuals with knowledge about climate change, environmental conservation, and sustainable practices can generate a ripple effect that inspires actions at all levels of society. By fostering a sense of responsibility and urgency, we can collectively drive change, ensuring the preservation of our planet for future generations. Time is of the essence as the consequences of inaction will be severe. The worst effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and the loss of biodiversity, can still be mitigated if we act now. However, delay and complacency will only amplify these challenges, placing an even greater burden on future generations. In conclusion, the future of our planet hinges on the choices we make today. Climate change calls for collective actions, urgent measures, and a renewed commitment to protect the environment. By reducing emissions, preserving ecosystems, 
embracing sustainable practices, and fostering international cooperation, we can shape a sustainable future and mitigate the worst effects of climate change. It is our responsibility to act now, ensuring a thriving planet for generations to come. Question, what does the future hold for our planet in terms of climate?